Hey, it's April, the sales specialist at Skycom Solutions. Today, we're taking a deep dive into Lenovo Vantage. Not everyone gets to have a managed service provider like Skycomp to monitor your systems and keep your computers up to date. Your computer is important to you and Lenovo has provided tools to allow you to monitor and check the health of your system. Lenovo Vantage comes in two platforms, both commercial and retail. Today, we're going to be looking at commercial, but this still has some of the features that the regular Vantage has as well. You can find this by typing Vantage into your search bar. The first thing you're going to see is your dashboard and you'll be able to find general information about your machine here. As you can see, if you look over under this section, I am using 6.2 gigs of my memory and I am barely running anything on my system. Therefore, I know that eight gigs of RAM is unlikely to be enough for me to run smoothly. This is actually something that I saw on my last laptop. I was running into a lot of issues and I was dropping some video calls. And when I pulled up Vantage, I saw that I was utilizing all of my RAM. And because I had gone with a computer with soldered memory, I had to upgrade my machine rather than just increase the amount of RAM on it, which is something you should take into consideration if this is something you are worried about when you are purchasing a machine. Another important field on here is your system updates. If you notice that your machine just isn't running to the caliber that you expect it to, or it's all of a sudden started acting a little bit finicky, you might want to check this. You are able to run your own system updates through this portal very easily without assistance from a tech specialist. If you would like to look in a little deeper into your computer, you can select device. This will pull a little bit more detail in depth here, if you're interested in looking at that, it will also provide you your warranty details. This is good if you are requiring a little bit some more support and you don't have an IT specialist to provide your computer to, you are able to see how you should be reaching out to Lenovo to have your computer corrected. A newer feature from Lenovo is Wi-Fi security. This will monitor the Wi-Fi networks that you are able to connect to and verify if they are legitimate or not. This is important if you're trying to connect to data or Wi-Fi at your local cafe or somewhere that is public. It's very, very easy nowadays for people to walk into a cafe with a false spot, false hotspot that can gather your data pretty easily. So this is becoming more and more important to be able to verify. One note, please do not judge me on my Wi-Fi name. I just like to passive aggressively send messages to my neighbors. <laughs> I can't believe I'm telling people that. If you are my neighbor seeing this, I am sorry. And it's just my sense of humor. I just have renters next door and they just don't think they need to cut their lawn. And it looks like there's a tree growing where it shouldn't even be growing. It's just a whole mess. Okay. Another feature I'd like to dive a little deeper into is Smart Assist. This is available on the commercial version. And it, there are some features that will only work if you have an infrared camera and human presence detection. This is also another feature that you need to identify that you need when you're purchasing your machine because it is not upgradable. You will see on my computer that I have human user presence sensing turned on as well as my zero touch login and zero touch lock. And I've just set my features on how I would like them. One thing to mention is if you would like your computer to lock when you walk away from it, you need to override your Windows screen timeout settings because it will always listen to that first. And if it's not set to turn off until after one hour, it's not gonna turn off until one hour. So when you walk away, you're not setting the security features up. This feature works with Windows Hello. So you will need to enable this feature on your computer as well. So it will use your infrared camera to see your face. I have already done this on this machine so I can show you what this looks like and how quick and seamless it is once you're using it. So to turn my computer on, I just need to walk up to it. It will look for me. I have just started using this feature and I have to tell you, it is shocking how much of a difference it makes. Um, I've used my fingerprint, I've used a password, I've used a pin. 
This is hands down my favorite way. I just sit back down on my desk and then it turns back on and I can continue my work. Taking this a little further, Lenovo also has another feature. You do have to enable it before you begin. It is called Miramix. When you turn it on, you can start some more security features that are very important if you are working in a public space and you are worried about other people looking at your computer screen while you are working, or you are worried that you may get distracted and forget to put your computer to sleep before you leave. I will turn this on to show you how it works. It will connect to my camera. Um, as you see, you can, my infrared light will turn on and it will stay on and my camera will stay on because it is consistently looking at me. Um, as you can see this little green box, it is recognizing my eyeball movement, which is a little bit creepy, but important for these features. Um, I'm just gonna show you what happens. I can put it down, you can't see it. I'm working, my lights are on, so I know that it is working. So if I'm getting distracted and I decide I'm going to start a conversation with somebody and I simply look away like I'm talking to Sebastian over here, after a moment, it will blur out. I can't look at it to confirm that it is blurred. I'm just assuming it is because as soon as I look at it and it sees my eyeballs touch the screen, it will turn back on immediately. So you're not having to wait for it to turn back on. It's doing it automatically. Um, another major feature of this is if somebody is looking over your shoulder and reading your work, it will also pick up other people's eyes. So Sebastian, do you wanna come show this with me? All right, so I've got him leering over my corner and as you can see, I have, oh, did you change corners? Maybe it's, did. it's recognizing you come back there again. So it's popping up and it's telling me literally that I've got somebody on either corner and it will tell you where they're located screening. So it gives you the opportunity to press one of those buttons and then turn your computer dark so it will blur and no one will be able to see what you are looking at. I do wanna mention that while you see these lights on, if I feel right behind my computer, I can feel that it's starting to heat up right now. This does use some of your power, so you need to take that into consideration as well. And you might want to remain plugged in or understand that you're going to be using more of your battery than you would be if you were had this turned off. Turning it off is very simple. The same way you turn it on, just go into your toolbar, click it, it goes to sleep, everything turns off. So you really only need to use this function if you are if you are in an environment that you think that needs to be protected. This was a very high level review of Vantage. There are many more features that you can dive deeper into. I just wanted to show you some of the features that I get use out of. If you're looking for more content on Lenovo devices, please select here. You can see more videos. Thank you very much for tuning in.